our summer favorites for travel. travel. Because Carolyn and I are both lucky enough to be going places yep. this year. This mm -hmm. year, and um, we want to share that with you so you have all the right products and ingredients for yeah. your suitcase. Yeah. Uh, so you're traveling the right way and mm -hmm. you can take care of yourself and not get sick and feel good. Yeah, you want to feel good traveling. when you travel, absolutely. Because you plan for these trips, you, you put a lot of money into them, a lot of planning, and you want to feel your best. And we have a pretty good little selection we do. of We're gonna goodies. Like take turns flocking back and forth, yes. but we grabbed our beautiful um, I've used the Ghana, Ghana market baskets. Yeah, yeah. yeah, African market baskets. So that's number one. You go to the shore, you need a basket. Why? Because it stands up. And it's super durable, and it just you could just load the heck out of it. Yeah, we have so much stuff in yeah. here. Yeah, and I like to put my keys on a carabiner and clip them on to them the handles. Good idea. Put your beach towel in it, and you're good to go. Nice. Yeah. So, and you can totally like travel with one of these on an airplane too if you're going farther away. I think it would probably fit underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead compartment. Did I sound like a flight attendant? Sort of. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that little dance. I don't either. Yeah. Anywho, let's uh, take turns going through what our favorites are for traveling. Yeah. Well, I went first because the basket's my favorite. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with mm. Goo Tubes. Go Tube. I don't know how to say it, but these. Up really yeah, uh, these things are awesome. They really are. Why? Because they're so squeezy. Yeah. And they, and. Honestly, when I use these, every single little bit of product that I put in there comes out all the way, which is awesome because some of the products I have are not so cheap and if I'm putting them in other containers, right. it doesn't always come out all the way and they're yeah. so secure, nothing leaks out of it. They're yeah. reusable so you can feel good about, you know, for the environment. We don't have a huge selection of um, travel size natural products here. But we've got these, and these are all you need. Cause you, yeah, just your products that you use Great every point. day in your bathroom, just squeeze them into this. Yep. So like shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Mm. There you go. And the suction cup, yeah. which you told me about. I didn't even know that that, yeah, some of I didn't even have the suction cup. And also they open really wide up here, so you can fill them um, all the way up. Uh, you can go next. Yeah. All right, what do I have in here next? Well, ooh, it matches you, sorry. It I'm does match me, look at that, it matches my hat. <laughs> so, next thing you like to bring is a good water bottle, especially on a day like today where it's so super hot. So you're going to the beach, you're going to the lake, obviously you need a good water bottle. And we love Hydro Flask because well, I like this one in particular because it's wide enough to put a bunch of ice cubes in it. I like to fill it up with ice cubes and then, you know, put a slice of lemon in there and then fill the rest of it with water. And it's great. You don't have to purchase anything. You don't have to waste any products. And this thing will keep your drinks cool forever. It's fantastic. And I think you could bring them on a plane if it's empty. So, totally. Yeah. And it's got this great rubbery handle. I love the new design. And you I love put this that color. on your Caribbeaner too. And yes, maybe stick it that would, right on yeah. your basket, right? Totally. For a backpack if you're yeah. biking. Totally. Alright, what else is in my bag? Alright, this is kind of a weird thing, but oh my god, you can use this. And I'm gonna tell you how. It's like, yeah. What? Yeah. Road tripping and or if you're going someplace where you're gonna be doing a lot of walking and activity and you're smart, you bring some sneakers to take care of your feet the right way and preserve your arches, etc. These are, um, mm, these are, uh, what are these? Oh, charcoal bags. Mm -hmm. I, sorry, I just have memory lapse. The cool thing about these is put them inside of your shoe or inside of your sh uh, suitcase when you're traveling home uh, with dirty, stinky clothes and your sneakers, maybe you pack them in your bag. These are going to absorb all of the odors. You don't have that nastiness lingering in your suitcase, right? Yeah, right? that's awesome. It that's makes, really a good idea. It makes total sense. See, we didn't really talk about these. We just kind of pulled stuff. 
Well, That's yeah, because I'm drawing from like you know your own the, experience. The, yeah, I don't want my stuff to get smelly and gross. And right. you can these last like forever in a day. So they do. when you come home, you know you're not just getting it for traveling. You can use them at home if you're a runner. Oh my god. Please, don't put talc baby powder in your sneakers. It's gross. Oh, wow. You just need this. That's such a great idea. Yeah. Good call, Jenna. I don't know. Okay. I know my husband is actually traveling right now, um, and he is he's camping when he goes for business travel. But um, even if you're not camping, you're going to a hotel, you know, you want your morning coffee, and sometimes the coffee in those hotel rooms is... Most of the time. I mean, sure, you can bring your whole setup, your pour over setup, you can bring your French press, but you know, come on. Or you're camping, or you're somewhere maybe if you're, you know, backpacking and you just need a good cup of coffee. This Mount Hagen powdered coffee is really, really good. It makes a solid cup of coffee fast. Uh -huh. All, you could even use the water out of the sink. I've done it. I've used water right out of a hotel sink and made excellent coffee with this. And oh, I should have got the creamer. We have Nut Pods Creamer, which is shelf stable, and you could bring some of that. Um, but this stuff actually tastes really good. You could also make it cold. It's fantastic stuff. So Mount Hagen Organic Instant Coffee. Another awesome. go-to. Yeah, you can't travel with, without your coffee. No, man. Mm. Also, when you're done with your coffee, you cannot travel without your toothpaste. Right. Right. <laughs> right. All right, so the reason why I picked this up, A, this one is made from recycled material at Donald, Donald. Um, which is cool because who likes to support the environment and they're really not that expensive and this is this is the real kicker here these things are awesome snap-on toothbrush sanitizer yes yeah. so this thing goes over the top of your toothbrush to contain it and then there are these little um, discs in here that contain essential oils, specifically thyme oil, which is known to have a lot of antibacterial qualities. So it's great, you may have seen these plastic things on top of toothpaste or toothbrush, I'm saying that wrong, now for sale at other places, and that's great, but you're also, not only are you protecting this, but you're harboring all the bacteria in there. Right. And who wants to do that? You might as well just throw your toothbrush away when you get home, because you're filling your mouth back up with bacteria. Right. So grab one of these, they give you two extra discs, so this is good for like a long time, I want to say about a year, every couple months, yeah. And it smells good, it makes it smell fresh too, like time. So, awesome. Yeah. This is something that is not only for travel, it's for life. You just need one. I have them all over the place. Olba's oil inhalers. I probably have featured these like 50 times too because they're fantastic. They're simple. It's menthol, peppermint, kajaput, and eucalyptol, which is eucalyptus oil. Uh, this is an inhaler. You just block one nostril and inhale this. It just puts a, it just infuses your sinuses with coolness. So if you're on a plane and your nasal passages are dry, if you're starting to get a little bit of a headache, if you're tense, if you're stuffed up, this is fantastic. It's so comforting and it's so inexpensive. You throw it in there. It's not messy. It's not wet. It won't leak. It's not a nose spray. It's just, it's a unique product and I love it. Nice. Yeah. All right. You don't need to bring the whole bag of these. No. They are, they're made by Giovanni. And they are sanitizing towelettes. Why are these good? Because they serve a bunch of purposes. Put a few in your purse, put a few in your suitcase, put a few in your back pocket. You're gonna need these before you are eating out wherever you are, before you are eating or touching things on the airplane, after you come out of the bathroom. Like, I know this is gross stuff, guys, but that's why you need this. They're using essential oils to um, sanitize your hands in a natural way, and they smell amazing. Grapefruit splash, lavender, calm and peppermint surge so you're okay. also getting the aromatherapy in here as well if you need to relax while you are um you know on the plane use a lavender if you need to wake up use the peppermint and if you need to be happy use the grapefruit etc awesome nice. stuff put a few in there 
and we can talk more about smells and stuff. Uh, if you say you get into like a hotel room or like in a in a stinky bus or car, actually, don't you probably shouldn't use yeah. it in a car, but um, stinky bus. Like yeah, well, like anywhere that's just like stale and. Bleh. And you want to kind of set the mood. There's other uses for this too that I'll just let you use your imagination. But these are incense matches. We have them up at the register. They're super popular. They're super inexpensive. You just light it, let it burn down to the incensey part, and you have incense. It doesn't burn a long time, but trust me, it'll clean up a, the smell of a room really fast. And they're just everybody loves them. So throw a couple in your bag. You know, you're you're going away to camp and you get into the cabin and it's like, ah, ew, it smells weird in here. This or will take care of it. Mm -hmm. Or you're a house guest. Mm. And, and you don't want to be rude. You don't want to be rude and you're going to go to the bathroom and you thought, I'm going to bring my incense matches in the bathroom with me just in case. You know, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> all right. Older video. If you are doing hiking, biking, etc., or if you are just having a really busy trip, Carolyn mentioned the Hydroflux hydro flasks and and that's great and then maybe you wouldn't even need this uh, shaker bottle True. maybe you have your own shaker bottle but what I'm suggesting is to grab a few packets of your favorite protein powder a lot of the protein powders that we have here come in packet form single serving form so that you can just drop this into your bottle add water shake it up that's right. all you need and then you've got your uh, 20, 15, 20 grams of uh, protein, right. and you're good to go on your walk, yep. or you know, maybe that's your breakfast. Shave, save a few dollars. Shake it out. Yep. Two, three bucks. It's totally worth it. I'm <laughs> a creature of habit. I know. Oh, yeah. You're you're good at that. Um, <laughs> look out of your resume. Um, next, you're out traveling, you're eating weird food. I mean, maybe it's great, but maybe you don't know how you're gonna react. Maybe you need a little boost, or maybe you already use these and you just need a travel size. Digestive bitters are going to stimulate your body to create the enzymes you need to digest the food that you're gonna be eating. Maybe you need a little as assistance. This is the chamomile blend of some Urban Moonshine Digestive Bitters Chamomile. It's good for heartburn, it's good for bloating, it's good for gas. It'll help your body break down the foods. And it's soothing, that chamomile one. It, nausea. It, it tastes good, that's right. This one's good with yeah. nausea. Um, we have maple and we have original, but this one I feel like a little, it little has that one extra step because of the chamomile. So check that out, Urban Moonshine bitters in little travel size, very yeah. friendly. Especially if you get a little bit of that pre-flight like jitters, jitters in your yeah. stomach, uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I have some other things though as ah. well. Uh, on that note, just real quick, I would also suggest when you are traveling to take some enzymes. Yes. This is the big guns. Yeah, so I mean, this is gonna be on, you could do digestive bitters and enzymes like I do. I kind of use them both, gauge which one I, I want. Um, but if you're not into the whole herbal thing or you can't stand that real bitter taste, then the enzymes is where it's at for you. Um, a bottle of these will work wonders for you. Oh, Why? Yes. Because when we travel, we're usually not in our own routine. Our digestive system's a little out of whack. You're eating foods that you don't normally eat and your system may be like, whoa, I need some help here. And the enzymes are what break down your food. Yes. So grab a bottle of this. Thank you, Enzymedica. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So maybe you have an active vacation. I know I like to kayak and I like to hike um, and I like to do stuff outside, which means I am no doubt gonna have bug bites, sunburn, poison ivy, cuts, scratches, chafing, all kinds of stuff. So what one product will help? Green Goo. Green Goo's first mm -hmm. aid stick is a great one because I believe this is the stick, right? Yeah, yep. I think so. I like the stick because it's just easy to do. They have a great bomb also. Honestly, I probably would have the bomb with me, but this is like a great one relief thing. It look, I mean, even on there it says chafing, sunburn, rashes, cuts and scrapes, blisters, insect bites, poison ivy. It helps all of them. It's a fantastically clean product. It's so good. Uh, look up Green Goo. It's worth it. They're, they're just really, really good products. Uh, my son actually discovered them from a friend and used them and was blown away and he can't live without it. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have these uh, in our in our ars arsenal all the time. Um, it uses all herbs, fantastic stuff. So Green Goo first aid stick, you need it. 
first aid for your belly. Yeah. Or like preventative first aid for your belly. Yeah, we're talking about enzymes, but also your gut and your digestive system is like 80% of your immune system. So yeah. you can load up on, and, and this was actually something else that I suggested, um, a supplement to help load up on your, uh, yeah. your to, to help support your immune system, yeah. basically. And this one's got vitamin C, echinacea, licorice, propolis, and garlic in here. Something like this that you can use preventatively to give your system a boost. Take it a few days before you travel, continue to take it while you travel. Yes. Um, and a few days after, that's what I do, and it works wonders. In combination with your uh, shelf-stable probiotics. These do not need to be refrigerated. They are going to help keep you regular. Um, again, you're eating different foods, that type of thing. And, and I like to go for the 50 billion count. I'm just like, hey, you know, give myself a good dosage of that good bacteria in there. Absolutely. Don't forget your supplements. Okay. Sorry, okay, I'm back. So you're on a trip. And like Jenna was saying, you're out of your element, you're eating all kinds of strange things. That's great, but sometimes you you know, you have a bad gut day, you're thinking, oh, I just need to go back to my old standbys. Well, that's how we have so many little goodies. Throw around your nut butter. We have so many goodies that are easily packable. RX bars, which are so simple. It's like a little meal in a bar, egg whites, almonds, cashews, dates, and pretty much nothing else except for completely whole foods. I mean, fantastic stuff to put in your bag. Nut butter packets, great to have on the go. You just need a little bit of protein or you have like a cruddy bagel that you know you got on the continental breakfast and you just wanna put something on there. We have a whole bunch of nut butter packets that are super easy to use. Beef sticks, you're having a sugar crash, you had too many drinks, you need something to stop it. Just grab this super easy protein. And you know, sometimes you just want something savory too and you don't want something sweet. So grab some snacks, load up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, she's got chickpea snacks. snacks. Yeah. And, I, and I picked up a collagen bar just because I think, yeah. you know, the, the, the traveling takes a lot out of your skin. So it treat does. your skin good with uh, some collagen. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, on the note of, of supplements, most of us travel to places where we are getting some sun exposure. Yeah, um, yes, we can certainly protect our skin from the outside in with some of our favorite sunscreens, and we've got a lot of good options here. I just picked one that I like off the shelf. This is by my shell. It is a coconut scented, oh my God, to die for. It smells so good. Not like the yucky traditional sunscreen from right. way back when. This smells actually like coconut, it's divine. Um, but you're gonna get all the protection here. It's reef safe, it's uh, totally safe for your body. It's mineral based. And then protect your skin from the inside out. Bioastin, Axanthin. Good job. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so this this guy actually is a very potent antioxidant that comes from uh, seaweed usually, and um, basically it's in, in capsule form. It does not taste like seaweed. It tastes like nothing because it is a actually excuse me. It's in gel cap form. Uh, it tastes like nothing because it's a gel cap and you swallow it, and um, it is going to help uh, with cellular repair and protection against. Uh, those free radicals that you're getting from being exposed to the sun. Also, don't forget your hat, your floppy hat. Protect your neck and your face and all that, shoulders. Make sure, and your sunglasses. Other people, that's it, mine, you know. I got a lot yeah. of people to take care of, so. Yeah, two people next to you are all good. Children. So, and, and what I like to do is, you know, because I usually bring a lot of supplements, I don't just throw the, the whole bottle in there. I get a little travel pack thing, so I remember every single day, and we have larger ones of this, if you're going on a week or two weeks, um, to pack each of your supplements per day. That's how I remember to take it best. We do sell these here. Nice. I know a lot of people, I actually, I'm very lucky I don't struggle with this, but Sleeping can be a problem while traveling. Maybe you're anxious, uh, or maybe you just want to sleep on the plane. And I didn't even think about sleep supplements, but um, I did. Oh, Jenna's got it. Yeah. So anyway, sleeping while you're traveling, you want to look, at, you know, find ways to stay in your natural rhythms, find ways to relax and be calm. So something like 
Yeah, I this. grabbed the Urban Moonshine um, Hit the Hay Sleep oh, yeah. Support. Perfect. So this is a um, passion flower and kava supplement. Uh, it's in liquid form. It's only uh, two fluid ounces here, so you could even put this in your carry-on bag if you were uh, traveling, but you hit the nail yeah. on the head. You yeah. need the sleep. Absolutely. And I, I grab this one, if I may, if you yeah. have, um, you know, anxiety, claustrophobia, being in the car for a long time, oh gosh, totally. or the airplane, or the stinky bus, totally. wherever <laughs> you are, or maybe a, a friend's house. Train. And yeah, and you're not, yeah, I was going to say, like, you know, if you're staying somewhere, yeah. you're a house guest. That can be stressful. Sometimes people don't sleep well, because right. the noise condition is right. different, or the lighting. The lighting is different. Yeah. So this is a joy tonic, it's for uh, occasional anxiety, and it is fast acting, it's herbal based, so all natural. And again, uh, that two fluid ounce jar, you can travel with it in your carry-on. That's awesome. Um, speaking of like lighting and sleep, I, I said one of these awesome dream eye pillows. These come from Degage Gardens in Franklin, New Jersey. Local, they're so awesome, handmade, local. They have essential oils in them. This one has lavender and lemon in it and it's really soothing. You can warm it in the microwave, but actually you don't even have to. You could just lay it on your face and it travels well. It's a nice size. I mean, I just think about, you know, you take a break in your hotel room, you put this over your eyes, you yeah. take the Joy Tonic or something and just de-stress, reset a little bit. As much as you go on vacation to de-stress, sometimes you find yourself a little overstimulated and something like this can help your senses kind of like I said, reset and kind totally. of kick back a little bit. So like I said, this is a great local product and they come in several different sizes. They even have little sachets for your luggage and everything too and bigger pillows if you need more stuff. Well said. Oh, I'm gonna totally do this. Oh yeah. You get stuffed up when you're, um, particularly, I'm thinking of airplane travel yeah. here, but um, you can use this if you have allergies, if you're traveling to new climate and maybe, or just new terrain in general, you can find yourself having sinuses, a lot of yeah. sinusy, yeah, stuff or sneezing, etc. This product has xylitol in it. Um, it's also sort of a protection against bacteria getting up there because uh, bacteria cannot digest xylitol. It kills them. So um, support your mucous membranes inside of your nostrils, your nose, I guess. Squirt this up a couple a couple times a day, and you're good to go. It really helps clean clean you out, and uh, it feels good. Nice. Next thing we recommend is, and further on the stress thing, you know we love monks. Oh, we nice. love our essential oil inhalers. Um, I think you could probably bring these during travel. I think I have totally. them in my bag when I went yeah. to California. Don't use them on the airplane. Don't use them on the airplane, but again, you need that moment. You need to, that little moment of zen. That's, this is the zen monk, I think about that. Like I said, sometimes traveling is a little stressful, and this is something that you can do to stop, to de-stress, to take a few minutes to do your breathing, and this will really enhance that. And it's just kind of a fun little comfort thing you can have with you, so. Monk. Love that you picked that up. Yeah, man. Um, I should have said before when I was talking about supplements, for your kids, don't forget your kids' vitamins. A lot of um, people are giving their kids uh, the gummy vitamins now, which is awesome. However, the bottles of those are huge and they take up a lot of room in your suitcase. So grab a couple of the individual packets, if you can, of your uh, kids' multivitamins to make sure they're getting this in while you're traveling. Don't forget your vitamins. It's true.